Good morning, everybody. The reason why we didn't tape yesterday was because I had to go to the dentist. I was on the verge of getting a toothache, and there's nothing worse than getting a toothache. I'm so glad I went yesterday and had it filled. I feel 100% better today. If my mouth, when I got home from the dentist, I said my mouth was like, oh, it was so sore. So when you, you know, you, you people should get, everybody should go to the dentist, like, I would say every six months, and this will prevent a problem. So anyway, today, we're making blueberry cobbler. It's really a great dish to make in the summer. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to melt eight, ta 12 tablespoons of unsalted butter. Cobbler's come in different flavors, blueberry, peach, apple, you name it, it comes in different flavors. This is going to be melted. There you go. Get on high heat, just get the butter melted. All right, so for me, I'm going to wait on the butter to melt. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start adding in my blue, putting my blueberries in this bowl and adding it with sugar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take about a cup, three cups of blueberries. Where you guys going? Okay. Three cups of blueberries. I, what I'm going to do now is this is wash. I had to wash the blueberries. Make sure at all times you wash your vegetation. I'm going to put in three cups of blueberries. It has to be washed. You cannot use unwashed vegetation because unfortunately nowadays things get sprayed. And you don't want to take a chance to get sick. So I'm adding in three cups. We might not have quite three cups, but it will work. All right. A little bit more. I'm going to put the sugar over it in a minute. All right. Here we go. And the best. Not quite three cups, but it'll be okay. The cake pan is small enough. It'll definitely take it. Yeah, you know what opens tonight? The Music Man. Oh, it'll be a great show. I'm really excited about it. I'm a little tired because we've been rehearsing every night this week. Oh, every night, but it's going great. All right, a little less than three cups will be fine. Now, what I want to do now is I also want to add in my sugar. My sugar is two-thirds cup of sugar. Right here, two-thirds cup is going to go over my blueberries. This is definitely the season for summer fruit. Okay, two thirds cup. Often you don't have a measuring cup that says two thirds cup. You just use one third, you do it twice, and you have your two thirds. I'm going to mix this together. The same thing as making blueberry pie, very similar. Okay, so this is side. Now, what I want to do now is I want to add three tablespoons, four tablespoons of butter into my cake pan and spread it. One, two. I got it on the table and you got a phone back. I'm going to spread this through the cake pan. My phone, people, have a habit of ringing always at the wrong time. Do you ever notice that? I'm not going to put this aside. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to add in, I'm now adding in the rest of the butter, the melted butter. This is going to go really good. I'm going to add in two thirds cup of milk. There we go. I'm now going to add in one and one half cups of flour. This is really a great thing to make like in the summertime, it's a very cobbler. There we go. I also want to add in my baking powder. Two teaspoons of baking powder. This is going to make it rise. Okay, we're getting more baking powder. Hate when that happens. Here we go. Now, what I want to also do is add in one egg. This is going to make the batter. Okay. I'm going to mix this together. This is going to actually become batter. It's going to go right over the blueberries. It's going to be really good. This is great to make in the summertime. There's no lumpy bumpies. Now what I want to do now is I want to pour the blueberries into this butter pan. The 
sugar will melt into the blueberries, not to worry. Okay? Not to worry. It's going to be really good. Now, it's very similar to making an apple cobbler. I'm going to also put in a dash of salt in here. And you bake down, and then you got to put just a little bit of salt. Here we go. Now, what I'm going to do now is... It's like making it's like making like little dough balls and you put it over the blueberries. That's all I can explain. Okay, here we go. This is gonna rise. Now to worry, it looks really flat right now, it's gonna rise. So we it sticks to my fingers. I hate that. Here we go. This is gonna spread all over the place. They're gonna come in different sizes, small, large. Here we go. Because you little devil right in the middle and what's going to happen is this is going to spread it's going to go all over the place like when you make your apple cobbler okay a little bit more there okay oh it's so sticky you know so sticky uh, not to worry it's going to spread either way it's going to spread what i want to do now is i want to put it into the oven and bake it for about a half an hour it's going to rise and you're going to have a blueberry cobbler and here we have wonderful, delicious blueberry cobbler. And we're going to cut it. Now I'm going to warn you, people. No matter what you do, blueberries can be a little bit of a messy dish, but so what? It's a wonderful dish to have in the summertime. And I just want to say, have a very great day from Deborah Wade's Home Country Kitchen. And please, please subscribe to my wonderful show.